Gujarat has always thought ahead of its times. That is why it is home to some of the oldest symbols of human civilization. Gujarat has a long maritime history and its people were quick to explore the world via the sea route. In modern India, it showed the path for India's freedom and reinforced the concept of a united nation. It brought about the white revolution to the country, pioneered the cooperative movement and experimented with decentralization of power to local governments. Yes, the state not only thinks, but acts, and acts when others don't even think. It created the first ever legal framework for public-private partnership in the country. With the government's initiative and private sector participation, Gujarat has created exemplary infrastructure in the state. Gujarat has a legacy of thinking and creating big. The state has one of the world's biggest multi-purpose dams and canals. It has the largest wide area network in Asia and has one of the world's largest grassroot petroleum refineries. For the first time in India, Gujarat undertook the interlinking of rivers. It provided broadband connectivity in all villages and all schools. It is also home to some of the largest multinational companies in the world. That is why it is called Numero Uno. That is why it is known as the growth engine of India. Gujarat works not only for its own growth, but for the growth of the country. It has had double-digit GDP growth for the last several years. And it has the fastest growing approach. Gujarat believes in making the pie bigger and also sharing it. And that is why it has harmonious labor relations and absolute industrial peace. Gujarat is the leading investment destination in India. Its strong fundamentals drive its growth. And the same fundamentals attract investors to Gujarat. Once again, Gujarat is going to act ahead of its times. Once again, it is going to create history. It is going to create the Special Investment Regions, or the SIRs, that will reshape India's industrial and economic face. It is going to set up the Dholera Special Investment Region. This very first SIR showcases the global vision and the big dream of Gujarat's Chief Minister, Sri Narendra Modi. The Dholera SIR is going to be developed in an area of more than 360 square kilometers. It will be developed as a global hub of economic activity, supported by world-class infrastructure, premium civic amenities and centers of excellence. It will cater to both international and domestic markets. The SIR will have multiple business, financial, recreational and residential districts. It will provide the next generation of housing with cultural, recreational and amusement spaces. The centerpiece of the SIR is the CBD, the Central Business District. This building will be a masterpiece of design and art, an iconic structure that will stand out as an imprint of Gujarat's ingenuity and enterprising spirit. A true monument dedicated to new Gujarat, the Golden Gujarat. The Tolera SIR will have a low carbon footprint due to extensive investments in harnessing solar and wind power. The adjoining Kalpasar Dam will create a sweet water reservoir which will transform the area into a lush green landscape. And on the outskirts, it is proposed to further develop the Black Buck Sanctuary and the golf course as tourist attractions. The central spine of the Dholera SIR will be a 10-lane expressway. This will connect the SIR with Ahmedabad on the one hand and with the airport and seaports on the other. The SIR will also be linked with Ahmedabad city through a metro rail system. The SIR will be serviced by a world-class international airport and major seaports in the area. While the state government is committed to public investment in core infrastructure, 
it is also open to attracting private investments. The SIR will be governed by a new SIR Act, another first of its kind in India. The state government has already enacted the SIR Act. SIR is a self-governed economic region enjoying global benchmarks. It has the full support of the central government and the commitment of the state government and its leadership. It has the logistics support of the upcoming Dedicated Freight Corridor or DFC between Delhi and Mumbai. The SIR will be serviced by the Gujarat International Finance Tech City which is better known as GIFT. The Dholera SIR is a lifetime opportunity. The SIR offers a gamut of opportunities. Opportunities that exist in building its infrastructure. Opportunities that exist in setting up industries or other economic activities. Opportunities that exist in building landmark buildings. Buildings that will be remembered by generations to come. Be in the SIR. Make it your workplace. Make it your home. Being in the SIR makes strong business sense. Gujarat can and Gujarat will. Gujarat can do it because Gujarat has made similar landmarks. The vision of the leadership is clear. The Dholera SIR is going to be a global reality much before you foresee. The state government has already commenced work on the central spine of the SIR. It has allocated 26,000 hectares of land for the SIR, in addition to allocating 1,700 hectares of land for the International Airport, located near the SIR. And anchor tenants are already in place. Yes, it is going to happen because Gujarat has faith in itself. It is going to happen because investors have faith in Gujarat. The people of Gujarat are known for creating. They create life, they create wealth, and they create happiness. Gujarat possesses the vastness of the sea and the majesty of the Asiatic lion. Being in the SIR is being ahead of the times. Invest in Tolera SIR. Invest in your future. Tolera SIR. New Gujarat within Gujarat.